What you see now is part of my favorite technique. It involves directly engraving the bricks on the foam using a system that serves to create a fantasy and not trivial pattern. This illustrative diagram was part of my old tutorial number 3, but it can be misleading, so I'll show you this technique step by step. First, we draw the horizontal lines, remembering to leave spaces to insert bricks out of line. After identifying some areas, let's start by defining four more bricks around them. We have thus obtained areas that will break up the monotony of the bricks. Remember that this technique is all the more effective the deeper and more clearly defined the dividing lines between the bricks are. After adding the texture with the aluminum foil technique, I move on to complete everything. The winning move is the extraction of some bricks to give greater dynamism to the piece. I define some bricks with the cutter and extract the material a little at a time, being careful not to damage the adjacent bricks. Now I will be able to insert individual bricks which will partially protrude from the wall. On the contrary, I can also press some bricks, creating a bas relief effect. I add some cracks and the wall is ready to be painted. Here you see a basic technique with a grayscale. Despite the simple painting, the piece sells itself great. 